Now the general strategy to solve all stoichiometric problems is the same. It doesn't matter if you start with a mass uh, or a liquid, which will be uh, a concentration, or if you have um, a gas, this will be aqueous, it's a concentration, uh, and that'll be a volume. Um, you'll start with something in the question, right? Today we're just doing uh, mass to mass, and you'll end up back at the end uh, with some sort of mass, some sort of concentration, and some sort of volume for the gas. Okay, um, and so the, the steps are all the same. So number one, you take whatever it is that you've been given, um, maybe, you know, a, a beaker of copper sulfate crystals or something. Uh, you convert it to moles, so that's number of moles equals mass on molar mass, uh, and then you'll end up with moles at the end, um, and so you will work out, um, well this one we're just doing mass, so for this one it's mass is number of moles times molar mass. So we're only going to be doing that for mass, mass cost calculations in this video. And you get the balanced, you get the ratio from A to B from your balanced equation. Okay, so make sure, uh, apart from that, make sure you always write the labeled uh, formula and you'll see that soon. And then substitute, and don't forget your units. And do it this way, because this is the best way to do it. Um, and the, I couldn't find a video that does it this way, although I know a lot of chemistry teachers do it that way. And so here we go, um, just another summary. Uh, we're going to use ratios, so I have a video on ratios that will come out soon. Um, if you need some more information about that. So that's the summary there. Uh, and here's some practice problems. So the first one is, uh, how many grams of this? When this decomposes, how many grams of that? So you can see it's a grams to grams, funny enough. Uh, I've gone and given you this, and I've also balanced the equation for you. So first of all, we have to get this to moles, uh, and then we have two of that gives to three of that, so we have to do a conversion for step two, and then step three is to get that moles back to grams and we're done. So here we go, formula, so there's a labeled formula. All right, and then we substitute it. So we put the molar mass uh, of uh, potassium uh, perchloride, I think, if I'm correct. Um, I might have said that wrong, just ignore me there. Uh, and then uh, you so divide those out and you get 1.5 moles. Now we know the molar ratio is two is to three, uh, and we have 1.5 of this, which is to x. So we cross multiply, so two x equals three times 1.5, so I may have jumped a step there a little bit. Uh, and so therefore 2x equals uh, three times that, which is uh, 4.5. And then so x equals 4.5 divided by two, and then we get there 2.25. Okay, so that's step two. Always do these three steps. Sometimes the exam will just give you something and you can jump in at step two. Um, but and sometimes you know you only have to do part of these processes, all right. But in a in a real real life example, you're going to actually have something, and you're going to react it with something. So I prefer these problems because this is real life. You actually start somewhere and finish somewhere in real life, um, and so you start with a compound and finish with a compound, or or substance. Okay. And so the finally here we go again. Uh, so number one labeled formula. Number two substitute and number three units, okay? So I think there's one more problem to do, so you could probably pause it now and do it. I'm just gonna jump in and uh, show you the whole thing. So again, step one, labeled formula, you had 205 grams, so you've got 2.2 uh, 2.75 moles. The balanced equation shows you it's one is to one. Uh, and so we've just jumped and done 2.75. Uh, sometimes it's not so simple. Uh, and so I'll just write it out just for argument's sake. So that's potassium chloride. So you've got uh, 2.75 is to x. Uh, you cross multiply those. So 2x equals 2 times 2.75. So x equals 2 times 2.75 over 2. And that equals 2.75, uh, okay? Um, 
so obviously I get a little bit lazy and skip on those um, so that's step two all right and then step three labeled formula substitute and your answer okay so have a, a couple of goes at those problems uh, once you've mastered this you should find all of stoichiometry quite easy